Now installing the brakes is a multi-step process, but if you take your time and pay attention to the details, you'll do just fine. You'll need the parts in the brake bag and the brake pad plunger assembly from step seven, the brake spring and some tape. The parts in the brake bag include two sizes of elevator bolts, eye bolts, flathead screws, machine bolts, nuts, lock washers, cable clamps, fender washers, cable pulleys, the awning pulley, flat washers, and spacers. Okay, so the brake pedal from this step and then the foot brace from step two are able to be moved forward and backward in this zone to fit a driver. Now you're gonna wanna check your plans to make sure that you get them in the right location. But the first step for us now, moving on to the brakes, is to build the hinge assembly. Start by aligning the four hinge holes with the brake pedal. The top of the wood brake pedal has rounded corners and the bottom is straight. The fifth hole at the rounded corner is for the brake pedal eye bolt. Next, insert a flathead bolt through the brake pedal, then through one of the four hinge holes. Add a quarter inch lock washer on the flathead bolt, then a nut, but don't completely tighten it. Looking good. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to repeat that step for the next three bolts. You're gonna to wanna to continue to tighten the nuts till the heads of the bolts are flush with the brake pedal. Then it's onto the brake pedal eye bolt subassembly. Let's install a quarter inch nut on the eye bolt and tighten the nut to the end of the threads. That looks tight. Yeah. Then place a fender washer on the eye bolt and insert the assembly through the hole in the wood brake pedal on the opposite side of the hinge. Now place a fender washer on the brake pedal eye bolt assembly install a lock washer on top of the fender washer, then a nut on the bolt and tighten the assembly. Okay, now we're gonna work on the brake pedal hinge subassembly right here on the front of the floorboard. Great. Start by aligning the two outer holes of the brake pedal hinge with the holes in the floorboard at the brake pedal location. By the way, the center hole of the hinge isn't used. Now insert a quarter by two inch elevator bolt through the floorboard bottom at the brake pedal hole location and press it through the floorboard and brake pedal hinge hole then a quarter inch lock washer, followed by a nut over the lock washer. But don't completely tighten because there's a couple adjustments yet to come. All right, so we're just gonna repeat those steps for the second bolt. We're gonna draw those nuts down until the bolts are flush with the bottom of the floorboard. Then it's off to the brake steering mount where we're gonna assemble the sub-assembly for the cable pulley system. First insert a quarter inch by one inch machine bolt through the cable pulley and place a quarter inch flat washer on the machine bolt. Now insert the machine bolt with a cable pulley and flat washer through the hole on the left side of the vertical plate of the brake steering mount and place a lock washer on the assembly. Place a nut on the lock washer, then tighten. This cable pulley should spin freely. Then we'll move right on to the plunger subassembly. First install a quarter inch nut onto a quarter by two and a half inch eye bolt and tighten it to the end of the threads. Insert the square tube end of the brake plunger assembly through the bottom of the floorboard at the large round hole of the brake steering mount and push it through the top of the brake steering mount. All right, hold that there for a second. Now, place the brake spring on the brake plunger. Compress the spring coil and insert the eye bolt assembly through the hole of the plunger. The eye bolt faces the rear of the car. Next, place a lock washer on the eye bolt assembly and a nut on the eye bolt and tighten that assembly. Yeah, you're right. Oh, look at me. Okay, now we need to make sure that it operates smoothly. You wanna do the honors? Yeah. All right, push it down. Looking good. Would you trust that? Yeah. All right, so now it's on to the awning pulley sub-assembly. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. Insert a quarter inch by two and a quarter inch elevator bolt through the floorboard bottom at the awning pulley hole location and place a fender washer on the bolt on top of the floorboard. You ready with the wrench? Install a quarter inch nut. Tighten it to draw the elevator bolt flush with the bottom of the floorboard. Then remove the nut. Add a spacer, put the awning pulley on the spacer. Do you know that was called an awning pulley? No. I did not either. And a quarter inch flat washer on the pulley. Add a lock washer and a nut. Okay, once the awning pulley's on, it should move freely and be pointed towards the front of the car. Now we're ready to tighten that nut. We're just making sure it's not bound up in the assembly. The final brake sub-assembly is the cable. Start by sliding two cable clamps on one end of the brake cable. Then thread the end of the brake cable about six inches through the pedal eye bolt to create a loop around the eye bolt. Now thread the cable back through the two cable clamps and tighten them with a 564 Allen wrench. Next, thread the other end of the brake cable through the awning pulley 
then through the cable pulley at the brake steering mount. Slide two cable clamps on the cable and continue the cable up through the brake plunger eye bolt. Now insert the loose end of the cable back through the cable clamps to create a loop around the eye bolt. Pull the loose end of the cable tight and tighten the cable clamps with your Allen wrench. All right, we've got our brake mechanism all hooked up. Now it's time for the fun part, testing it. You want to do it? Sure. All right, let's make sure it's got a smooth operation. Looking good. What do you think? Finalize it? Yeah. Okay, for that we're just going to put the final tighten on our clamps on both ends. It feels good. All right, then we're going to trim off some of that excess cable and then go back with our black electrical tape once again to keep there from being any frayed ends. You want to get the wire cutters for me? Sure. Thank you, nurse. Tee hee.